The statements we're about to show you are from the Holy Quran and is said to be the official, unchanged, pure word of God revealed over 1400 years ago. Claiming to be the word of God is a heavy statement and without proof or if a single contradiction is found within the book, the apparent word of God will be proven false. So without further ado, let's put the book to the test. In the 23rd chapter, titled The Believers, from the 12th to the 14th verses, God is said to give a detailed description of how the human being is formed. It begins by saying, We then placed him as a sperm drop in a place of settlement, firmly fixed. Then we made the drop into a alaqa. We will translate this word very soon. And then we changed the alaqa into a lump. Then we made out of that lump into bones. And then we clothed the bones with flesh. Then we caused him to grow and come into being and attain the definitive human form. In the 21st century, we can now safely say that this verse is clearly describing the process of human development in correct chronological order. However, what we should be paying attention to in particular is the second stage, referring to the development of the embryo. The specific word used to describe the embryo in this verse is the word alaqa. The word alaqa, when translated into English, can mean three separate things. Firstly, a blood clot or to be suspended, that is to be hanging or clinging to something. Or thirdly and finally, a leech. Now, all three definitions don't come anywhere near what we perceive to be the human embryo. So, why are these words used and what significance do they share with the human embryo? Can the embryo be described as a blood clot? Well, what do you think? In the third week of embryonic development, a tubular heart joins with the blood vessels to form a primordial cardiovascular system. And by the end of the third week, the blood is circulating and the heart begins to beat on day 21. The first thing that comes to mind in regards to being suspended or hanging is the umbilical cord. But we can't use that example because we are simply referring to step two, before the baby has even formed. But we now know today that the umbilical cord is formed from the connecting stalk. And the connecting stalk is formed as soon as the embryo is formed. The embryo's connecting stalk has even been described by John Allen and Beverly Kramer as an object to suspend the developing embryo in the extra embryonic column. So an embryo is suspended and does have a strong resemblance with the blood clot. What on earth would an embryo have to do with a leech? Figure A shows the structure of an embryo at 25 days. Figure B shows a leech. Now please note once again that the embryo in this stage is no greater than the size of a kernel of wheat. This is an x-ray of the embryo at 22 days. This is the internal structure of a leech. It's mind-blowing stuff, but you still haven't seen anything yet. This is the head of the embryo at 22 days. The detail you are seeing right now is absolutely impossible to be seen with the human eye and can only be seen with a microscope. This is the back end of a leech. There's no other words used to describe this other than mind-blowing. The pictures we have shown you are impossible to be seen with the human eye or even to be predicted by the human mind. Once again, the verses we have shown you were revealed over 1400 years ago to a man who couldn't read nor write. Are these the words of God? Descriptions of the human embryo in the Quran cannot be based on scientific knowledge in the 7th century. The only reasonable conclusion is that these descriptions were revealed to Muhammad from God, from God, from God, from God, from God.